I'm very excited today to do this craft. Um, I've been wanting to do it for a couple years. These are fairy lights for your garden. Um, my husband and I have bought lights over the years and they're really expensive and they don't last very long. So every season we end up throwing them away. So this year for about $3, I'm making my own um, and I think they're gonna turn out really cute. So basically what you need to get started is go to your dollar store and pick up their solar lights. Um, they come in silver or black. I picked up the silver, but I don't think it really matters. Go to your secondhand store, and these are just the glass um, light from like fans and uh, bathroom lights. And I probably didn't spend more than a dollar fifty on each of these, but you might have to hit a couple different stores before you find one that have them. And they don't have to all match. I think it would actually kind of be cute to have all different ones in your garden, but it's up to you. Um, this is two different styles. This one's rather heavy. Um, these are very light, so it doesn't really matter just as long as they're about this size. And then you'll need some wire. I don't know what gauge wire this is, but it's not real thin, but it's not super heavy that you can't bend it, but you're definitely going to need a pair of um, uh, needle nose pliers to bend this. So it's definitely firm enough that you can't bend it with your hand. And then a pair of wire cutters and then a glue. I am this time trying the uh, Gorilla Glue in the clear, um, but I know there's other epoxy glues out there. So either one that you feel comfortable working with. So the first step is to take your wire and you're going to want your first piece to be able to go around the circumference of this circle. And then your second piece is going to be your handle. So I basically cut one piece of wire into two. Um, and once you figure it out, then just use that as your stencil to cut all the rest of your wires. Um, and so this worked for me. So I only needed one wire per glue. So the first thing you want to do is take your needle nose pliers and just take one of the ends and just twist it around like so. And then your other wire, which is your handle, you're going to want to do the same thing. You're going to twist it around like so. And then how you want it is you want your wires, your loops to twist outward. So if you hold it like this, so then this one, you're gonna twist this way so that it twists like that. Okay, so your wire that's gonna go around your, your base um, basically all you're going to do, as you see here, is I just feed it through and then hook it around. So it's kind of like a hook. So I'm just going to put it around here and I'm going to bend the wire around so that it comes around to the other side and I'm going to stick it through that hole and then take your needle nose pliers and you're gonna bend it around. And so I have mine, I've left very little room. If you don't feel comfortable with that, leave a little extra. I'm just trying to use one piece of wire per um, glue. So it works easy, but if you are uncomfortable, then just use a little bit more wire there. It'll give you a little more leeway. So once you've bent your wire, you're gonna feed the smaller wire that has the one and turned with this. So that becomes your handle. And then what you're gonna do is you're just going to take that wire and you're just gonna bend it around. Hold on, I did that wrong. You wanna make sure this is upwards like that. And you're gonna bend your wire around and you're gonna feed it through that hole like so and just pull it as tight as you can. And then you're just gonna pinch it off and pull it around. 
You know, if you have extra, you can trim it off if you want. So that is the base, and then this becomes your handle. So the next step is to undo, which is super easy. And um, just a note, save these because I'm going to be doing another craft where you're actually going to use the base to do another craft. So save those, put those aside and stay tuned for that. So basically all you're going to do is you're just going to take your glue and run a good amount of it around the base of the light. And then you're just going to have to let that sit for about 24 hours till it, it adheres. So just place it on top, get it as close to center as possible. And that's all there is to it. And now we're just going to let this sit and dry and we'll show you what it looks like at night. So I am planning to hang my fairy lights outside on shepherd hooks in my garden, but it is winter time. So I just wanted to show you what they look like. This is the, um, this is the other one. So it just kind of gives you an idea of what they look like in the dark. Um, but I plan to do it uh, in the summer hanging in the garden. So maybe we'll do a follow-up video and I'll show you what that looks like once spring gets here. I really am happy with the way they turned out. I can't wait to see them in the garden in the summertime at night. So if this is your first time watching, welcome. And please don't forget to subscribe if you want to receive future notification of posts, hit the bell. And if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.